This is a uh, kind of a test pr primer for the Windows operating system. Um, this is meant purely for you know individuals that don't know a whole lot about uh, a computer. Um, it's told from from myself, Jason Kern, who's the from a technician's point of view as to questions that technicians will say, terms, things like that. It was inspired uh, by my friend uh, Bill, and I don't want to tell his last name, but uh, anyway, uh, he's a real good person, but uh, there's a lot of things that folks that have been working with computers take for granted. Uh, the first thing is, you'll see here on the screen, is this is what people call a desktop, okay? So whenever a technician says, hey, you know, you need to get back to your desktop, this is, this is your desktop, okay? Um, what operating system I'm using here is Windows XP, and your operating system is what you actually use to use a computer. You know, you have the hardware, which is your desktop or your laptop, and you have your operating system that runs that hardware. Uh, if you go, so anyway, here's your desktop. Uh, what what is an operating system? There, 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 they're like snowflakes. There's millions of operating systems. You've got Windows 98, Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows Millennium. <laughs> Uh, for any of y'all that uh, know about Windows, Windows, um, there's also other kinds of operating systems. You've got Mac OS. You have Linux operating systems. You've got true Unix operating systems. So there's a multitude of operating systems out there. Now, pretty much the components to an operating system are the files themselves. Okay. Well, you're saying, well, what do you mean by files? Well, let's take a look here. Let's go start my computer. You go to C drive, and this is where all of your files are going to be stored. So files such as Word documents, operating system files, programs that you've installed, or applications, depending... So here we see all of our files. There's our C drive, which is typically our hard drive. And then here's all of the different files that we see. We have program files, which is where our applications are going to install. We have our user profiles, which is documents and settings. And here you can see my user profile and then the video profile that I created for this video. But here's actually the core of your Windows. This is where all of your operating system files are going to be. I don't care if it's Windows XP, Windows Vista. This is this is the meat and potatoes of your operating system. You know, um, I'm sure if you've ever had a virus, you know, people are going to be like, "Well, you need to go into your System 32." Well, there it is. And there you go. C Windows System 32. And when you click on it, you'll notice it actually goes into the file. And it's showing our path up here in the address bar. And that is a setting, so if you don't see that, that's okay. But uh, that is a setting to be able to allow you to actually view the full path of where you're at. So we'll go ahead and close that down for right now. A uh, technician's going to say, go to my computer. Okay, so in a, in a Microsoft operating system, they're going to say, go to your start bar. Okay, well, that's down here. Click on the start, and this is what brings that up. And now, in newer versions like Windows Vista and Windows 7, they don't actually, it doesn't say start. But technicians will say, hey, you know, go down to your start button. Well, that's just because you're in the habit of saying the start button. So, anyway, 
but in Windows Vista you'll see that little Windows flag icon down here. So we move on and here we go to my computer. There it is. So we go to start my computer. Now everybody you're going to be asked a million times okay go into device manager. Okay so you can go start my computer right click which is your right mouse button and go to properties and this brings up our system properties now there's in Windows there's always usually more than one way to get to where you need to go okay so some people have you go to start right click on my computer go to properties and that brings up that window you can also get there from control you go to start control panel and once that pops up we're going to switch to classic view here so you can see all your icons and it brings up all of this information and if you click here on system there we are just so that you can actually see it pop up click on system and voila there we are so here we are at our system properties so you now see that there's two ways to, to get there all roads good thank goodness lead to Rome so now we see our general computer name we click on our hardware tab uh, here is our device manager, our elusive device manager. You click on that tab, and here's a listing of all the hardware in your computer. Now, what, what we're actually looking at here is drivers that are loaded. Okay, now, you're probably saying, okay, what in the world is a driver? And the best way I can describe it is humans interact with their environment by their, their senses, you know, such as sight, hear, taste, touch. Um, and that's kind of how an operating system, that's the best real analogy I can give for a driver. It's how your operating system interacts with the hardware attached to your computer. So like your display driver that is going to be the actual driver it's going to be a piece of software that tells your operating system how to display the picture on the screen um, you're going to see other drivers here and every piece of hardware let me let me add this caveat in there every piece of hardware has a driver associated with it a keyboard your mouse your hard drive in fact, here we go. There's your hard drive driver. Your RAM is going to have a driver. It's going to be a system management bus. Um, your monitor, your screen is going to have a driver. Your networking card, which is what you use. There's our wireless networking card. Here's our hardwired networking card. Um, our processor has a driver which is going to be, in my, this case, it's an Intel processor. And it's a dual core. So, there we are. I hope you found this startup primer just kind of informative. If you ever have any questions about uh, topics for future recordings, feel free to email me. That would be uh, social, S-O-C-I-A-L, at 7, the number 7, dash G-I dot com. And uh, let me know what you think. Give me any feedback and any topics for future recordings. I appreciate it, and y'all have a wonderful day.